Well, you would think that it should be pretty easy to achieve and maintain a healthy weight if you eat properly and exercise, right? Makes sense. Well, unfortunately, it's not that simple. There are many factors that can make us gain weight or have trouble losing it. Naturopathic Dr. Katie Rayom joins us with uh, this morning with some insight. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the show, Katie. Good morning, great to be here. All right, so maybe let's talk first about our metabolic rate and, uh, and blood sugar and how that plays a huge role. Definitely. So our metabolic rate is how much energy we're burning throughout the day. Obviously, the higher the rate, the more energy we're burning, even when we're at rest, which makes it easier to maintain a healthy weight. And so really, you know, I'm here to say that nobody should ever try to lose weight again. And essentially, if you can work on tuning up your metabolism, mm -hmm. weight loss will follow. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. And, and also, and blood sugar too, right? I mean, if people's blood sugar is spiking throughout the day, you know, the constant snackers, right? The constant snacking is actually not good for us. No, and actually that is driven typically by these blood sugar fluctuations. So even if you're not diabetic, you don't think you have high blood sugar, when that's up and down throughout the day, it will drive us to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe let's talk about uh, some, some solutions. Let's talk about the eating and maybe some good choices that we can make. Definitely. So protein, first of all, it helps to stabilize our blood sugar. It helps to contribute to our metabolic rate. It has a high what's called thermic effect of food. So you burn more energy when you're digesting protein. So great choices aiming for between 20 and 25 grams of protein three times per day. Things like eggs, obviously meat, nuts and seeds will contribute to that. But if you don't feel like you're doing those, you know, you're, you're reaching those target goals of 25 grams three times per day, Check your local health food store. Lots of great options in either, say, vegan or plant-based protein supplements or even meal replacements to help you conveniently meet those targets for that protein intake. Mm -hmm. Protein powder can sneak in a good 20 grams pretty quickly, right? So Very a, easily. So mm -hmm. quick, easy snack that's high protein. Exactly. All right. And uh, fiber as well. Yes, so when we think of fiber, we often think of bran, which is insoluble fiber, promotes regularity, which of course is important, but in fact, it's the soluble fiber, it's invisible, but you'll find it in, uh, you know, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, berries, for example, and that will form a gel with water in your system, mm -hmm. and that's very stabilizing to blood sugar, which really helps deal with cravings. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and fat, I mean, some people think that seems counterintuitive to be eating fat to lose fat but it actually if you have to choose the right fats there is still so much fat phobia out there mm -hmm. and you it absolutely is true that you need healthy fats to maintain a healthy metabolism uh, you know fats are satiating they help you feel full for longer so that's important and we're all familiar with healthy fats like olive oil omega-3s from fish for example but I just want to give a shout out to MCT oil, you may have heard of this. There's a mm -hmm. trend of people putting this in their coffee yes. for good reason. Small amount of this fat, it's digested differently than different types of fats. It's, it's converted directly to energy. So in fact, it contributes to a healthy metabolism, healthy metabolic rate. So mm -hmm. that's one of the reasons why people are uh, you know, doing that, adding it to their breakfast. Right, exactly, in the morning. And it does, it is satiating, right? It makes you feel full for a little bit longer, mm -hmm. which is great. Uh, we don't have too much time, about 30 seconds left, but I know strength training and sleep, two very important components as well besides diet. Strength training maintains our muscle mass, really important for a basal metabolic rate, avoids the gradual decline in muscle mass we tend to experience with age, which contributes to a slower metabolism. And at the end of the day, you know, our best efforts for eating can be for not if we're not sleeping enough because that will also slow metabolism, not having adequate amounts of sleep. Mm -hmm. So that sleep, it always comes back to sleep, doesn't it, Kate? <laughs> always. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Kate Rayum, naturopathic doctor, good insight, and we need to get our metabolic uh, rate back on track for fall going into winter. Thank you so much. We'll see you again soon. Great. Nice to see you.